hello everyone welcome back to another informative video in this video we are going to talk a little about uv water treatment systems and specifically how it is being applied in this hydroponic recirculating um, facility right and you know good for us i basically have a uv water treatment system right in front of me right and this uv water uh, treatment system is from um polaris right and before we do anything let us look at the the ratings right um for this system you know or the guidelines now it is a uh, flow rate for clean water 20 gallons per minute flow rate for ro dr dist uh, distilled water 24 gallons per minute right um and then of course you have the voltage 110 120 of watts current right um basically the whole home's law thing right um and then you have the lamp life right very important lamp life 9000 hours right um and then the maximum operating pressure right is 125 psi right so that is that so providing that you follow this label and you basically um you know do the plumbing properly let, let us basically explain sorry um what is happening here so as you can see we have um two connections here you have one here and you have another here so what this farmer did was he basically he, he didn't want to have this uv water treatment system mounted one place so he basically um mounted it on a basically a trolley like you know with wheels that you can basically push around because he has multiple tanks right that you'd want to treat so he basically mount it on the trolley and he can basically push push the uv um you know to other other tanks to treat treat those tanks right so right here this this connection here is basically the one um taking up the water so what he's doing here he basically has both connections in the same tank right so essentially is basically um disinfecting this water right he's getting rid of the pathogens in this water right um and before we go there i don't think i'd mentioned this with the uv water se uh, treatment system it's basically it basically has two lamps in it right that basically emits um uh, uv light right and the uv light that, that it's, it's just basically a uh, part of the light spectrum that comes from the sun and uv uv can be very harmful right um but of course our bodies you know make some kind of molecules um to protect pr protect us um you know some degree from uv and then of course the plants also the plants also will make molecules that will also protect them um from uv because if that wasn't the case then the plants would basically you know kind of succumb to um uv like damages and so on um so I've, as i said the the this is the housing and it has two uv lamps right um and the uv lamps that is what emits the the the, the uv light this is the the inlet right um it takes the water so this is the hose it takes the water from the tank it runs through right and then this is the outlet right that basically um let me show you what is happening here right this is it right this is the this is the treated water right? this is the treated water so this water has passed through the, the the uv light right and basically this one here is the one that takes the water so you understand what i'm what i'm talking about right now um if you want also they, that, that is another tank over there right and that is another one if you want you could also treat this water inside here and you could put the clean water in another tank you know and then now you say okay then this tank is water that has that has been treated that you then now feed to your plants right so but in this case the farmer is basically kind of recirculating you know the water um treating the water and put it putting it back in the tank and then after a certain amount of time then all the water in the tank will be will be treated right 
um, so that is essentially how it works um, as I said this is how it is mounted the plug is on here and so on and it is on the on wheels right so of course um, another thing that you have to understand is the UV water treatment um, system it will basically treat the water right um, and uh, so it will not treat the plants so obviously you are sending clean water to the plants but if you are having an issue like PTM, Phytophthor, whatever it is you have to understand that if the plants are looking are wilting or the roots are brown or rottening you know chances are the, the, the pathogen is already in the plant right so you a UV water treatment system can only kill pathogens external pathogens right you have to understand that the, 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 it is not going to go inside the plant and kill the pathogen inside the plant so along with the UV water treatment system if your plant is showing signs of um, pathogen infection that is basically called like fight after um, PPM you need to get um, some kind of systemic fungicide that, that will basically go into the plant system and clean up the plant system along with the UV water treatment system if your plant is dying or looks like it is it, it has pathogen infection the UV water the UV water filter alone will not um, help the plant so I said you need a combination of UV system and some kind of systemic fungicide I, I love this system and of course I told you that it's 9000 hours right and, and this basically is um, from this has been installed it has been running 24 7 um, in terms of um, you know you might shut it off for a few minutes here and bring it to another tank and so on so you know it's 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 meant to run for a very long time if you feel it it's not hot or anything like that because of course you know you're running water through the system and as you know water has high heat capacity so that's good um, oh I'm seeing a little bit of dripping right here so it's it has to be from up here as you can see right so what happens here now here needs to either be as you can see I'm spinning it, spinning it a little so it needs to be tightened down better or some tread tape put on it and tighten it so that is a easy fix right um, another thing is to have two lights here well two LED um, bulbs light system here so what happens is that when the lamps are due for changing these two are they not performing on as all they're supposed to perform these two lights will blink one light is for one lamp the other is for the other lamp it's two lights so both of them will blink red to show you that the, the, the lamps need to be clean um, well need to be changed sorry but of course these lamps can be clean as well you could take them out and clean them as well right because you will have you know water running passing through you know um you definitely we might build up some debris on them and so forth and the light that it's supposed to emit um might not emit properly and so on and then of course that is one of the reasons why they'll change the bulbs as well i'm thinking right so yeah this is what um and then you have larger um, UV systems than this one right but um, this farmer doesn't need anything larger than this and of course this is the place um, the, the company Polaris right so yeah that's it right I hope this this was was was, was um, helpful um, and this is also one method that you can use to basically um, you know get rid of pathogens from your your irrigation water right and there are other ways as well so please remember to subscribe and I'll see you again in another video. Bye bye. Oh, and Happy New Year. Sorry. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> bye bye.